Differences between t-test and p-value. t-test versus p-value. The definition one of the t-test statistics is type of hypothesis test which is used if population standard deviation, sigma, is unknown and sample size is less than 30, while p-value can be defined as probability of point estimate occurring if the hypothesized value is true. The definition 2 of the t-test is an inferential statistic used to determine if there is a significant difference between the means of two groups and how they are related while p-value, or probability value, is a number describing how likely it is that your data would have occurred by random chance that the null hypothesis is true. In simple words, p-value is the observed level of significance. The synonyms of t-test are t-value and students' t-test while the synonyms of p-value are probability value or significance or sig. T-test is used for hypothesis testing while a p-value is also used in hypothesis testing to help you support or reject the null hypothesis. The p-value is the evidence against a null hypothesis and decide that results are statistical significant or not. Mean is known and standard deviation of population is unknown in t-test while there is no need to use mean and standard deviation in calculating p-value. The range of sample size is less than 30 in t-test while the range of p-value is less than 5% then results will be significant. p-value greater than 5% then results will be insignificant. The t-test is used in different analysis such as regression analysis, one sample t-test, independent samples t-test, pairs t-test and unpaired t-test to test hypothesis, while p-value is also computed either manually from student t-table or z-table or from software and used to decide the results are significant or not and null hypothesis is rejected or not. In short, every t-test has a p-value to go with it. Higher values of the t-test value indicate that a large difference exists between the two sample sets. The smaller the t-test value, the more similarity exists between the two sample sets while the higher the p-value from 5%, high the chance to reject alternative hypothesis, and the lower the p-value from 5% high the chances to reject null hypothesis. The degree of freedom of t-test is n-1. It is represented by v or df. The degrees of freedom in a statistical calculation represent how many values involved in a calculation have the freedom to vary. You can use degree of freedom when computing p-value from student t-distribution table. But sometimes if you can't find range in front of required degree of freedom then you can find any two t-test values in which computed t-test falls between them. There are many traits of t-test such as t-test measures the size of the difference relative to the variation in your sample data. The t-test is a statistical test is used to compare the means of two groups. The traits of t-test are many such as t-test uses t-statistic, t-distribution values, and the degrees of freedom to find statistical significance, while the smaller the p-value, the stronger the evidence that you should reject the null hypothesis and larger the p-value, the weaker the evidence that you should reject the null hypothesis. P-values are used by many tests such as Z-test, T-test, F-test and Chi-square test used p-value to get significance or insignificance results at 5%. It is important tip to note that p-value when computed in software is in decimal form and you will observe it either lower or greater than 5% or 0.05 level of significance. The formula of t-test is equal to subtracting mu from x-bar then divided by standard deviation further divided by square root of sample size, n with degree of freedom. 
df is equal to n minus 1. You can either use t table or z table or ms excel software to get p value of t test. By selecting two values in student t distribution table in which calculated t test value falls in front of n minus 1 degree of freedom or anywhere else in t distribution table. You can see the two significance level on top of t distribution table where p value of t test falls between them. By multiply by 2 gives you p value of t test for two tail test. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.